Hey everyone, welcome to Joanne Four Kitchen where we just enjoy food. So let's enjoy these Escovitch fish fillets. So I found these cut fish fillets in my supermarket and I decided to give them a try. I have one pound and they are thinly sliced about half inch thick. I already washed them with some lime and vinegar and I squeezed out most of the water. So I'm going to start by pouring a bit of olive oil on my fish and then season with this seasoning blend that I just made. I have all the details in the description so you can check that out below for the list of ingredients. I wasn't so sure if I should have posted this video or not. There are a few things that didn't go as planned, but I figured, let me just keep it real with you guys. This video serves as a reminder not to be too hard on yourself if you try a recipe and it didn't go as planned. Just relax and just enjoy food. It's all a part of the process, okay? So I'm going to let this marinate for about 15 minutes. Now, contrary to frying, which is usually how Escovitch fish is done, I'm actually going to bake this. If you have an air fryer, you can use that instead. It would probably be easier. This fish retains a lot of water, so if you have a wire rack, I recommend that you place them on a rack instead of laying them flat like I did here. Fish sticks easily, so I made sure to line and grease my tray. My fish goes in my oven for 15 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In the meantime, I'm going to start to work on my Escovitch sauce. So I have some carrots here, sweet pepper, onion, and pimento. I'm not adding any scotch bonnet pepper to this. To my pot here, I'm adding some vinegar and then my vegetables and let that steam for 3 minutes. After my fish is done, I then remove them and place them on my plate here and this is where I made my first mistake. I should have waited until they have cooled a bit. They were too delicate so they started to break apart. To finish off, I'm adding my Escovitch sauce. I will admit that I regret not adding my scotch bonnet pepper. If you have seen my previous videos, you know I like a bit of spice in my food. Otherwise, the flavor was excellent. Will I buy this fish again? Probably not. I will try it in different recipes and see if I prefer it then. Nonetheless, try this recipe out and let me know what you think. You can use a different type of fish if you like. If you do give this a try, remember to tag and follow me on Instagram at joinfo underscore. All my other socials are also linked in the description. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. Thanks for watching and until next time, live life to the fullest and just enjoy food.